I am an assistant professor at Carnegie Mellon. I study software engineering um, and applied program analysis and program programming languages. We seek especially to come up with useful, scalable techniques to reason about and improve quality of software in the sort of real evolving systems um, that float around on GitHub and that you use every day. Um, in particular, today I'll be talking about some research advances from my group um, in automatic bug repair. This is a broad area. Actually, a number of other groups do research in it as well. I'm hoping to just give you a flavor of what we're doing um, and maybe speak, uh, spark your interest so you're willing to come talk to me about it later. Um, the great thing about this problem is that I don't ever have to motivate it very much. Um, anybody who's ever been within 16 inches of a computer knows that bugs are a problem. Um, and in fact, even the most lackadaisical of estimates put the cost of bugs in software of all varieties at in the tens of billions of dollars globally annually, which is really convenient. Um, so this is the problem in source level defect repair. And I just want to give you the problem domain that we're specifically targeting so you understand what these approaches are trying to do. We have a program, and it's doing many things correctly. Um, but it's going to be doing at least one thing incorrectly. And this describes basically all programs in the world. There are many ways we can attest to correct behavior versus incorrect behavior. In research practice to date, although I'll come back to this assumption, we have used test cases as proxies for any other kind of correctness specification. So when I say there's a bug to be fixed, I mean there's a test, or maybe there's several, that's failing, and we would like them to pass. So in practice, when I was a software engineer before I quit my job and went and got a PhD, um, my goal was to take this bug report from a customer, for example, and produce a small set of changes or a patch that, when applied to that input program, produced a very similar program, didn't break anything, does all the same things as before, but without that negative behavior. The goal in automatic program repair research is to replace me with magic, freeing up my life so I can do more interesting things, raising up the level of abstraction at which I have to reason, saving time and ultimately improving software quality. Now, this is a hard problem. We haven't solved it yet. But software and this problem have several really important properties that we have taken advantage of to try and make some progress on it. So let me give you a couple. The first key observation here is that code is very repetitive and predictable. There's been quite a lot of work on this, actually, in the last five to 10 years, um, especially from colleagues at UC Davis and elsewhere. And they have found fun facts like you'd have to write five to seven lines of code before you could reasonably expect to be writing something textually distinct with respect to all the other code that's ever been written uh, on the internet. This is convenient, and we can take advantage of it. The other two secret sauces um, is that most bug fixing patches are fairly small. And that's all we actually really need to reason about in this problem. We don't have to reason about the full correctness of the program at all. And other researchers have shown that a very large proportion of bugs can be fixed or addressed by only three to five lines of code change. These probably aren't the major system outage changes that are require you know, days and days of reasoning on your part. But they are actually a very non-trivial proportion of bugs in practice. And finally, at its heart, this is a search problem. This is just fundamentally what a human is doing and what any automated technique is doing is traversing a space of candidate changes, looking for one that has the desired effect. So that space, of course, is infinite. But we know a lot about how to do search. Um, so in fact, that's where we started. We started specifically with metaheuristic search over um, changes at the abstract syntax tree level of a program. Our first effort in this space was called GenProg. It used genetic programming. Um, and we made a number of domain-specific assumptions to make that space tractable so that we could successfully find a number of patches for a number of programs.